hi guys welcome back to my channel i'm jemima and this is my my head girl if you're new here please kindly hit the subscribe button and turn on your post notification so you get to know every single time i post for my returning subscribers thank you so much for joining the family thank you for subscribing and make sure your post notification is turned on so you get to know um, when I upload new videos today, I'm going to be teaching you how to create a ready to wear turban fascinator. And the materials I need um, are my sequins, I made use of um, this sequence fabric, then crinoline, and of course, my needle and scissors. And please don't forget your tape measure. Now, the name of this material, I think it's called Oh Baby. So when you go to market, um, you check it out. Um, as you can see, I've already created the base for my turban, and I made use of um, 22 for the wideness and for the length, it's about 18 inches. So now I'm showing you how it looks like on the inside, and I you might not need a lining when you're using another material that is thicker so the reason why I um, turned it with lining is because I um, attached an interface to it so that's why I turned it with lining then um, if you're making use of any other thick material you might not need all this you just need the fabric itself so you just um, like skip all these processes so now just what, what I'm going to be doing I'm going to be creating some ruffles at the back um part and on the middle part of the front too so guys just watch exactly what i'm doing guys
can see I've um, created the ruffles already now I'm going to trace my plate all the way from one end to the other and this is what I got this is exactly what I've done you can leave yours rough or you can follow this um, method because um, sometimes there is beauty in the roughness so um, for me I'm just going to leave mine this way and now I'm going to attach the base to it the measurement I used is 22 by 2.5 inches now that 22 inches is the measurement I have on this tip of the cap so I just measure that and um, I going to attach my strap now so the measurement for my strap is um, 2 inches by um, 11 by 2 inches yeah that's 11 for the length and 2 inches for the wideness you can make yours wider and longer but mine is just going to be 11 by 2 inches so I'm just going to measure it and cut it out then I'm going to show you how to you know um, join it together with the cap As you can see guys I've attached the strap to it and this is exactly how it looks like so in case you don't understand what I'm doing please let me know in the comment section I will um, attend to your questions so now I'm going to start working on the um, fascinator and for this from um, I'm going to be needing my crinoline the old baby fabric and uh, my sequins so now the measurements are 25 inches and 21 inches that's the length of my crinoline so that 25 inches will be in two piece two pieces and the 21 inches will be in one piece so um, that's what I'm doing I've cut out the first 25 inches and I'm just measuring so um, you can see for yourself so now um, as you can see it's 25 inches and now I'm just going to use the first 25 inches to trace out the second one and the third one is 21 inches so now guys and um, this is the three pieces 225 inches and 121 inches so now I'm just going to be showing you guys how I created um, the fascinator so now I'm measuring my crinoline now and um, as you can see is 2.25 and in order to create what we accommodate the crinoline you are going to I'm going to be showing you how I did that so remember the wideness of the crinoline is 2.25 so for this one I'm going to add half inch to accommodate it so that will be 2.75 then I'm just going to round everything up at 3 inches because I'm going to sew it so that other quarter inch um, quarter of an inch is for the sewing allowance so um, the length is still going to be 25 inches then there's um, something I want you guys to understand clearly the remember I made two pieces of the 25 inches and um, one piece of the 21 inches so the first 25 inches will be the um, with this green material then the um, second 25 inches will be the sequence then the for the 21 inches then for the 21 inches it will be the same green material so the um for the sequence the reason why the sequence and this first green is 25 25 is because the sequence will be in the middle and the for the 21 inches it will be at the top the upper part so that's going to that's what is going to bring the beauty out 
okay now this is what I'm just going to do I've already cut out the 21 inches for the green and now I'm going to just place that 25 inches on this sequence and trace it out and that is exactly what I just did so now I'm going to be explaining um, I'm going to be showing you guys how I um, inserted the quinoline into this piece so guys enjoy <laughs> So guys I've joined it together already and this is what I did for the three pieces so now I'm going to be inserting my quinoline into it now and to do this you have to bend your quinoline this way and um, make use of your safety pin to insert it so that's what I'm going to be doing now so once I'm done doing that I'm going to close up both and because I didn't close it up so um, I will be able to stretch out my quinoline very well and make it flat enough before I close it up so that is exactly what I'm going to be doing now I'm going to be doing that on the three pieces of my fabric so guys enjoy So guys, as you can see, I've joined them together already and I connected one end to the other one to form a round shape. Okay, so that's what I just did with this part. So as you can see, the first two are of the same measurement and the third one is shorter. So now, um, this is where I'm going to be creating my style and um, guys, I'm going to be showing you how I did that. So I'm going to hold it exactly on the midpoint and um, I'm going to secure it with my um, machine. Then I'm going to use my needle and thread to also secure the three of them together. Remember first I'm going to um, use the machine to join them together that's separately then i'm going to use my needle and thread to connect them together and remember the first 22 25 inches will be that the first one will be the green material and second will be the sequence the third one will be shorter and it will be at the upper part so guys enjoy <music> as you can see my fascinator came out really really nice I'm trying to find somewhere convenient to place the fascinator um, you can place it right or left it's your choice 
so now um, I just tape the midpoint of the fascinator and now I'm going to just place it on the left and guys this is going to be the finished look if you're not subscribed to my channel please kindly do so now and make sure your post notification is turned on guys see you in my next video stay tuned thanks for watching bye